What is meditation? Meditation is the journey home. Home to this present moment, here and now. All day, every day, we're running, trying to get somewhere. From the moment that we wake, we're reaching for something with our eyes, with our ears, constantly going, constantly doing more and more and more and more. And yet somehow we never arrive. So meditation says, let's start here and now. We don't know if then and there exists. All the time we're trying to get there, but it seems that no matter where we go, we're always here. No matter how fast we go, how far we go, wherever we are, we'll be here. There is never coming. And for sure, where is life happening? For sure life is happening here and now. This is where the flower is blooming. This is where the sun is rising. This is where happiness and peace and love are. Not in the mind, not in the past, not in any rules or expectations or stories, but the experience of peace can only happen here and now. The experience of love, of kindness, of wisdom can only happen in the present moment. And so if we're never in the present moment, how can we ever experience that? So meditation is very simple. Stop. Stop everything. Stop looking around. Stop moving around. Stop talking. Take a break. Take a rest from all the doing. Every moment we're doing, doing, doing. We're doing a thousand things at once. Constant state of stimulation and distraction. But meditation, it says that what we're looking for, we won't get from doing. No amount of doing will bring us peace, will bring us love, will bring us happiness. Doing just brings more and more wanting. No, it's endless wanting. Keep going, something more. As soon as we get something, we go on to the next one. But meditation says what we're looking for is not in doing, but in being. The key is being. The secret to love and creativity and wisdom and peace and inner strength is not from doing but from being. If we look around us, we see that nature is in a state of being. Now there's such a presence, a gracefulness. Most of the animals and insects, when they're not moving, they look like they're dead, totally still. And so in meditation, we have to come back to this core of being through the stillness. Meditation is like deep sea diving. On the surface of the ocean are countless waves. Beneath the surface of the ocean, there are no waves, just a current, a subtle flow. If we go deeper still, then we come to the stillness. Such is the mind. On the surface of the mind are countless thoughts. We can't control them, we can't stop them, we don't know where they come from or where they're going. Beneath the surface of the mind is just a subtle current, but if we go even deeper, then we come to a total stillness. This is where we'll discover what we're looking for, not on the surface, not trapped with all these words and stories. No, but in the silence, in the stillness, there's a light, and that light illuminates our hearts, and in our hearts we discover all the treasures. The treasure of kindness, of creativity, of happiness, of love, of patience. None of these can we buy outside. No store. We can't pay anyone to get it for us. The same like all the riches are buried within the earth, in the same way all of the secrets are buried within us in the heart. The heart is like an open sky everywhere containing everything. The heart is the seat of knowing, the seat of wisdom. The heart is where peace and kindness and love and creativity are born. Meditation means to come out of the mind and into the heart. 